everyone, I'm Poppy Gatto, and I'm here to keep you up to date on all the comings and goings of the movers and shakers in Chaldea. I'm a reporter for the Cordovan Informant, Chaldea's premier news outlet, and I'm not too humble to tell you we have our finger on the pulse of what's new and exciting around here. You're going to see much more of me as the months go by, starting right here, right now. Things have really started off with a bang in the world of Chaldea. Since we started adding videos to our channel, we've introduced you to some new faces we think you'll come to love and invited you to take your first steps into the wide world that we'll be telling our stories in. You'll be able to find all our new content from here on out right here on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bell ready to ring whenever we add something new. We started off introducing you to some of my favorite people, characters you'll get to know through our main chapter storyline, as well as some of our other behind the scene content. We met Headstrong Yo, a man so intent on righting wrongs that he often gets himself into trouble. Motivated Sarva, a warrior fighting to take her rightful place in Akkadia. Clinical Reiswitz, who cares deeply about his family and can see conflicts from all angles. Detail-oriented Marco, the editor-in-chief at the Cordoban Informant. And boisterous Zane, an elf who feels deeply and uses humor as a shield. Equipped with that introduction, we dove into the prologos telling the story of how Chaldea came to be, its gods and myths, its dragons and dwarves. When he achieved all that he could achieve from the hilt of a blade, he took a new act to the world stage. Yes, Cordova was more than just an intrepid graver with a strong arm. He was a brilliant general, a shrewd politician and charismatic leader, but that was not enough. One day, Cordava launched his most ambitious gambit yet. Once we set the stage, it was time for chapter one, where we meet Yo, our main protagonist, and discover what set him on his current path. Chapter two introduces us to Sarva, an Akkadian warrior of noble birth who dares to defy Iltani, demigoddess of Ishtar, and chapter three, in which we meet Reiswitz von Gustavus, commander of the 10th Legion, and Keldia's inventor of miniature war games. Whew. Blessed with the sage presence of Chaldea's co-creators, Peter Atkinson and Steve Connard, we were able to divine some exciting insight and secrets about the production of all three chapters. Peter and Steve shared their thoughts on our director's commentary. You will see Augur film um, as a, in live action film, eventually not in this season. And Bill Johns played him, uh, but and we did a I, I felt that Bandersnatch did a great job with the uh, makeup and uh, the beard and the prosthetics and everything, uh, really bringing this character to life. And when Bill jo Johns inhabited that character, his voice changed down to a lower register, which we really liked. And afterwards, I'm like, okay, we really like how you played Augerfeld in this series, but you used a different register in your voice, and we made him come back to the studio and re-record all his voiceover lines. <laughs> yes, he, he he was quite great. When he came, he came on the set and he came alive. I remember you and I looked at each other and went, wow. Every once in a while, we like to peek behind the curtain and let you see the actors behind our favorite characters. Peter sat down with Brandon Marino and Yasmin Aker to discuss their favorite moments and the experience embodying Yo and Sarva. Now there was a rumor going around on set when we worked together that you always wore some, you always were wearing something with Batman. Yes, yes, I, I always have Batman gear on me. Um, I actually just realized that I am wearing a Batman uh, belt, seat buckle there, belt. There you go. I mean, like whenever I take on something, it becomes personal. And I'm like, this is personalized. This is mean something. And I become very like invested in it. So I, I think it just felt natural to, to, to come in and be like, oh, okay. So if I'm speaking Arabic and this is like back in the day, this is not a light accent. This is a, a, a thick accent. Okay. Things wouldn't be conjugated in this way. And things wouldn't be like necessarily uh, abbreviated in this way. And, and I was so appreciative of you to allow me the, the freedom to, to play with that and to kind of like breathe a little bit of, of my own uh, life into Sarva. So I'm super oh, appreciative. I, I mean, absolutely. Always listening and always being like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's go. We know that some of you like to read the quest text. 
So we've created the Deeper Delve series of videos for those lore-hungry library dwellers. You'll find details arcane and secrets sublime on subjects like the rules of godship and the roots of the Drazzledar. When you're a newbie godling or first demigod, you don't have a sphere of influence yet. So then you start running into demigods or even lesser gods that have spheres of influence and then just all bets are off. You're just gonna lose. Unless it was like they had some sphere of influence of like, uh, you know, flea circus or something, I don't know. Um. <laughs> But the gods had access to something special and it's called primal energy and it was like the the super energy of the universe if if it was something only they could wield it was an extension of their will and it was just fundamentally more powerful more potent more controllable more pliant than the energies that mortals had access to yeah, it's uh, the story of how we met, right? Like uh, yes. a common bond of wanting to play high-level D and D. <laughs> yep, Peter's house was right behind the guy's dorm. There was a field. There's a dorm, the field, Peter's house. We would sneak out the window. Yes, we had to sneak out of the dorm, and we'd go across the field to Peter's place, and we were playing in his basement. Connecting all this Caldia together is our brand new website, which you can find at www.worldofcaldia.com. Come on by for a deeper delve into Chaldea lore, to watch the uncensored versions of our chapter films, learn about Chaldea characters in the Chaldeapedia, browse news articles from the Cordoban Informant, and visit our credit section to see all the minds behind Chaldea. Now that we've gotten acquainted, don't be strangers. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at World of Chaldea. And I hope you'll say hello. Tell them Poppy sent you. Don't forget to like this video, Subscribe to our channel and keep coming back so you don't miss more of our fantasy-filled content. We're so excited to share this wonderful world with you and have so many stories to tell. See you next time. Set kills Cordava! Set kills Cordava! But this is blasphemy! Oh, goody! You like it? No, I do not like it. Who's your source, your asshole? Let's soften the headline, make it less sensationalistic. Boring. Must get the news to the people.